Welcome to Bulga Socks TV. We've got lots of classic and original TV shows. Subscribe now and enjoy the video. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! Mum had gone off with Jemima to a tap dancing festival. And guess who'd invited herself to stay? Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's sister. I suppose you all want some breakfast? Great Aunt Loretta always makes really weird food. There we are, prune and parsnip porridge. <laughs> ah, looks interesting. Looks revolting. Looks more like Don't a... you start. You're lucky to get any breakfast at all. I'm worn out, I am. Oh, Ooh, I need a rest. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Suddenly, she spotted something interesting Ooh. in the Sunny Sands Gazette. Mr Mentor, the inventor. He's running a competition. It's today. He wants everyone to invent a clock that reminds him of Sunny Sands. A Sunny Sands tick-tock clock. Little did we all know that Mr Mentor was in for a Sunny Sands tick-tock shock. Now, Mr Mentor the inventor lives in the lighthouse in Sunny Sands. He's always coming up with really crazy inventions. Like this. The grassy buggle jumper. Only the bugs liked it even more than he did. Then there's this. The automatic hairostatic that gives you a new hairstyle every day. And this. The huffer puffer pillow fluffer. Everyone loves going to visit him in the lighthouse and trying things out. And he likes trying out other people's inventions too. <laughs> I shall invent a Sunny Sands clock. I'm going to go in for it. I'm going to enter for Mr Mentor the inventor. You've never made anything like that in your life. Ooh, there's a prize. What's the point? A three week holiday. A three week holiday? A cruise on a big ship. Oh, that's a great idea. You haven't had a holiday for ages. And Dad agreed with Grandpa. I agree with Grandpa. And Wolfie liked the idea too. We could help you. You do no such thing. No. I shall make a Sunny Sands clock and I shall win the holiday. Soon, Great Aunt Loretta had got all the things she needed to make her clock. And Dad found just the thing in the garage. You can build your sculpture around that. Oh, thank you. And I know just what kind of Sunny Sands clock I'm going to make for Mr Mentor. Meanwhile, Grandpa and I were playing with my construction set. You sure you don't want any help, Loretta? Quite sure, thank you, Grandpa. If she's going to win that holiday, Jason, and give us all some peace, she's going to need all the help she can get. And if she won't let me help her while I'm big, I'll just have to make myself small. Not the shrinking cup, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! Now, you know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of mischief. He can fly off in my plane. He can drive off in my car. Or he can run so fast that I can't catch him. Get down! We haven't got time for this, Grandpa! <gasps> Help! Ah! Come in, Great Aunt Loretta! Get down! I hoped Grandpa would do as he was told. Uh, uh, I ran to help uh, Aunt Loretta. Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, 
Oh, Grandpa promised he'd help, but where is he when I need somebody to help me blow my nose, eh? Gone for a little lie down, I suppose. Whenever Grandpa shrinks, everyone thinks he's gone for a little lie down. Now then, Jason Mason, are you ready to see my Sunny Sands clock? Uh-huh. Three, two, one, ta-da! <laughs> it's Mr Mentor's lighthouse. He's going to love it, won't he? It's a masterpiece. While she was admiring her masterpiece, Grandpa climbed up the table leg. Grandpa signalled to me to get Great Aunt Retta out of the kitchen. He had a plan, I could tell. And when Grandpa has a plan, there's no stopping him. The judging's at five o'clock, Great Aunt Loretta, and you're still in your nighty. Right, don't get shirty. I'm going to change then. It's not me who keeps anybody wet. Well, it's not right, Jason. Here's the plan. Goodness, <gasps> it's um, it's extraordinary. What's it like inside? We have to hurry, Dad! Steady, Jason. I'll be ready very soon. Right. This is what I need. He needed bits of egg box. He needed some glue, some paints, and some felt. I need the ready, Grandpa. I just need one more thing. Jason! You can carry me back. Coming! Get in the clock, quick! On my beauty, we're off! So we all got into Campo and off we went to Miss Smiley's cafe. And Great Aunt Loretta said, Oh, I hope Mr Mentor likes me clock. What if he doesn't? Oh, I'm all nervous now. I didn't think she should be nervous. After all, Grandpa had a plan. And he was in the lighthouse clock. Or so I thought. there were a lot of clocks. There was a fish clock, a shell clock, a beach hut clock, and they all looked fantastic. As soon as I got the chance, I peeped into the lighthouse to check that Grandpa was okay. But Grandpa <gasps> wasn't okay. He wasn't even there. This was a disaster. Then poor Great Aunt Loretta started to get upset. The other clocks are lovely. Oh, mine looks terrible. Mr Mentor will hate it. Oh, what he'll say. Aunt Loretta. It wasn't long before Mr Mentor arrived to start the judging. Oh, how ridiculous. Mr Mentor doesn't just invent things. He invents words too. Aren't they wonder bubble? What wonder bubble clocks? I don't think clocks get any wonder bubblier than these. This is going to be hard, Miss Smiley. Now I was really worried. Great Aunt Loretta wasn't going to win without Grandpa's help, and Grandpa was not where he was supposed to be. Where was he? Miss Smiley. Now, this cake is quite marvellous. Just then, Grandpa raced across the floor, and soon he climbed up onto the table. Where have you been? I had to make a hat. I think it will be hard to beat, Miss Smiley. Very hard to beat. Tick tock. Just then, we heard. Tickety tock. Tick tock, tick tock, tickety tock. Tick tock, tick tock, tickety tock. Now, that is a brilliant tick and tock. Sounds almost human. What an invention! A musical clock! <laughs> Grandpa's plan was working. Mr. Mentor was really impressed. Then suddenly, a door at the top of the lighthouse opened, and out came Grandpa, dressed as a weatherman, and still singing the tick and tock. He'd made himself a costume out of felt. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. 
How fantastic! This time, Grandpa had gone too far. But he was about to go even further. Just as it hit five o'clock, this happened. Cuckoo. He'd made himself Cuckoo. another costume out Cuckoo. of an egg box. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. And who is responsible for this work of genius? Uh, me. I am. Sorry, I was just in the... Great Aunt Loretta can't say the word toilet out loud because she thinks it's rude. She wouldn't come out. She's so shy. So shy. So talented, so creative. Oh, well, thank you. You win the prize, Loretta. Oh. Oh. This clock is not just Wonder Bubble. It's absolutely Wonder Bubble. Oh. Absolutely Wonder Bubble. Oh. When we got home, I rushed inside ahead of Dad and Great Aunt Loretta and put the clock down on the floor. Come out, Grandpa, quick. Out he came. He had changed back into his own clothes. He quickly whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. We did it, Jason! Great Aunt Loretta is going on holiday! <laughs> oh, teamwork! Teamwork! Guess <laughs> what? I won! I won the competition! Oh, Loretta, that's wonderful! You deserve a really long holiday. Thank you. I think I do, actually. <laughs> now let's have a look at the prize. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's a cruise for two. You can come with me, Grandpa. Sorry about the yawn. We've been buzzing about all day. Buzz, buzz, buzz. That's us. I could go on buzzing all night. <sighs> well, you can if you want to. I'm ready for bed. Bed? But it's not bedtime yet. What time is it then, exactly? I don't know exactly. That's because we don't have a clock. <laughs> well, if we did have a clock, I bet it would say it was bedtime. Nah, I bet it would say it was... Story time! <laughs> and I've just thought of the best ever story to tell you. About clocks, by any chance? Yup, you get it. <laughs> Listen to this. You love it. The story begins in Nana's arty den. Nana was looking after Chihuahua because Mahaha and Pahaha had taken Minnie and Boise to the seaside for a few days. Nana had been very busy. And we'd been watching her. She was making a special present for the family for when they got back. Well, you know what Nana's like. Nana's a hairy land artist. Nana can draw like a dream. She can spray, she can glue. She can do collage too. And sometimes she paints with ice cream. Yes, ice cream. Nana. 
Nana had made a wakey-wakey clock to wake everyone up in the morning. <laughs> and this is how the wakey-wakey clock worked. When it was time to wake up, the clock giggled. <laughs> and it made us giggle too. <laughs> the wakey wakey clock was finished. Now Nana was going to take it to the Ha Ha Harry's house. Yes, this was turning out to be the day Nana gave everyone the giggles. Up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone was sleeping. Can you guess who? Boris Boo-Hoo, what's he gonna do who? It was the afternoon and Boris still hadn't got up. This was because Boise wasn't there to wake him. Nana brought the clock outside and put it on her hairy wheeler. She had an idea. She'd set the wakey-wakey clock off again just for the fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so loud and so giggly that Chihuahua ran off and Nana ran after him And the clock kept giggling <laughs> It was so loud and giggly it woke Boris Boohoo up Boris Boohoo up grabbed his hairy stary to see where the giggling was coming from. And that's when he saw the wakey wakey clock sitting outside Nana's attic den all by itself. Boris Boohoo had an idea. That wakey wakey clock was just what he needed to wake him up in the morning. <laughs> but how was he going to get it? What he needed now was a plan. Boris needs a plan, a plan, he needs a plan As quick as he can, he needs a plan, he needs it quick He needs ah! a plan, a clever trick What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? <laughs> Boris's plan was to go and try to get the wakey wakey clock for himself So off he went to Nana's out of death <laughs> Parked his clatterbanger in the orchard and tippy-toed into Nana's garden. Sure enough, there was the wakey wakey clock. He went to pick it up. Oh, I'm lit. Suddenly, Boris heard Nana coming back with Chiwa. He had to hide. So he jumped inside the clock. Which is never a good idea. <laughs> it didn't take Chihuahua long to sniff out Boris. But Nana had no idea why he was so interested in the wakey-wakey clock. So off went Nana with a wakey-wakey clock on her hairy wheeler. With Boris still stuck inside. No way could we miss this. We follow. <laughs> Back at the Ha Ha Harry's house, Ma, Pa, Minnie and Boise had just arrived home. We landed in the flower bed. <laughs> then the Harry's heard Nana arriving. Go, <laughs> come And Nana gave them her special present. They 
were over the hairy moon with happiness. <laughs> Why isn't Nana showing them how it works? I think she wants it to be a big surprise. <gasps> the clock was very heavy. Nana couldn't understand why. <laughs> <laughs> Nana told them to take the wakey wakey clock upstairs and it would give them a big surprise in the morning. <laughs> the ha ha Harrys were amazed. What kind of surprise would they get? They wondered. When everyone said goodbye to Nana, Boris tried to run away, but he didn't get very far. The Ha Ha Harrys were very surprised to see the clock had moved all by itself. Then Ma and Pa picked up the wakey wakey clock and took it inside. Of course, they had no idea that Boris Boo Hoo was hiding in it. <laughs> So Ma and Pa put the wakey wakey clock in their bedroom. <laughs> oh, Nitz! <laughs> Minnie and Boise were unpacking the fluffer puffer bag when Ma came out. She told them it was time for Boise to go home. But that meant Boise would miss Nana's surprise. So Ma kindly said Boise could stay the night and go home to Chateau Shampoo in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so the hairy sun went down. And the hairy moon came up. <laughs> Ma and Pa Ha Ha said goodnight to the wakey wakey clock and got into bed. <laughs> Boris was going to be stuck inside the clock all night long. The next day, the hairy sun rose in the sky. Ma and Pa were still fast asleep. And then this happened. <laughs> 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 And it woke Ma and Pa up straight away. So loud and giggly that it woke Minnie up. And then Boise. And then us. Because we'd been sleeping in the window box all night. Pa <laughs> wanted to know how it worked. So he gave the door handle a big tug. And who did he find inside? Boris Nana had said they'd get a big surprise. And big surprises don't come much bigger than this. <laughs> the Ha Ha Harrys couldn't stop laughing. Good old Boris, what a joker. <laughs> Boris wasn't going to get a wakey wakey clock for himself after all. <laughs> a teeny tiny bit sorry for Boris. It must have been horrible stuck inside that clock all night. <laughs> but I guess it served him right for trying to take it for himself. What do you think, Wiggy? Wiggy? <gasps> you were asleep. Was not. Were too. And you said you were going to keep buzzing all night. Yep, I still am. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Bedtime. 